the Jungle Book. This is a story about a boy who was found in the jungle by a black panther named Bagheera. Bagheera rescued the child, and along with a pack of wolves, they raised him like he was one of their own. They called him Mowgli. Mowgli learned how to live in the jungle. His friend and guardian, Bagheera, closely looked after him. He became friends with the elephants, too. Even the grumpy old colonel of them all, Hathi, who would shout orders at all the other elephants and make them march in formation every morning. Not everyone in the jungle was friendly towards Mowgli. In fact, there was a hungry boa constrictor, Ka, that wanted to eat Mowgli right up. Ka could hypnotize anything with his eyes, and then he would coil up around them and squeeze tightly. But Mowgli had an enemy even more dangerous than Ka. It was the tiger, Shere Khan. Shere Khan was determined to kill Mowgli before he became a man. The head of the wolf pack decided that there was only one way to save the young boy. The kid needs to be taken to the village to live with the other humans, he said. Bagheera agreed to take him to the village the next day. As Mowgli and Bagheera headed towards the village, Mowgli slowly realized that they weren't just going for a little walk. When he was told where it was that they were actually going, Mowgli shouted angrily, I won't go! I want to stay here in the jungle! So the boy ran off and plunged himself deeply into the jungle, where he quickly met a very happy and very lazy bear named Baloo. Baloo invited the boy to swim in the river. Mowgli looked over and saw Baloo floating down the river on his back. So he climbed on top of him and rode him all the way down the river. All of a sudden, Mowgli felt someone lifting him up into the air. He turned to see, but before he could do anything about it, a mob of monkeys had trapped him. They were now swinging him through the trees, across every vine. They brought him to the remains of an old temple in ruins. And there, the king of the monkeys was sitting, just eating bananas, and waiting for the monkeys to bring Mowgli to him. Tell me how humans make fire, said the monkey king, Louie. But I don't know how to do that, Mowgli responded. And it was true. Even though his life depended on it, he couldn't tell them how to make fire, because he had no idea. Fortunately, Baloo and Bagheera turned up just at the right time. The Monkey King was furious at Mowgli, so the two friends thought of a plan to save Mowgli. Baloo dressed up like a monkey. But King Louis quickly discovered who he was. They raced to escape, and the three friends were able to make it out in time, just before the temple collapsed. After their adventure with the monkeys, Baloo and Bagheera explained to Mowgli that there were bigger and even more dangerous animals hanging about in the jungle, and that he should return and be with the humans in the village. I will not leave the jungle, Mowgli protested. He ran away from them and yet again plunged himself deep into the jungle. Bagheera and Baloo searched for him everywhere, and when they found him, he wasn't alone. This time, Mowgli had found his worst enemy, the tiger, Shere Khan. When the tiger saw that Mowgli was not afraid of him, he became enraged at the boy. 
He growled at the top of his lungs, and showing his big fangs, he attacked Mowgli. At the same time, a storm broke out, and a lightning bolt struck a nearby tree, setting it ablaze. Mowgli knew that the tiger was more afraid of fire than anything else, and he saw a way to save himself and his friends. He grabbed a branch that was on fire and ran towards the tiger, wildly waving it in the air. The tiger panicked so bad that instead of attacking, he ran off, frightened for his life. We are never going to see that guy again, Bagheera said, laughing. Mowgli, Bagheera, and Baloo promised each other that from then on, they would never again leave each other's side. But just then, Mowgli saw something he had never seen before. It was a beautiful girl in the river that had come from the village. She was singing a beautiful and heartwarming song. What happened next saddened Baloo and Bagheera, but only for a moment, because they knew it was best for Mowgli. They saw him smile at the girl as he helped her carry the jugs of water. They both walked happily in the direction of 